गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर थर्टी एथ एंड थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑल्सो दिस सेशन वुड इंक्लूड द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ जुलाई बिकॉज इट वॉज मोहर्रम सो दैट्स वाई आई वॉज ओन लीव नॉलेज स्टार्ट विद अवर सेशन विच यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री लॉन्चेज एन ऑनलाइन पोर्टल to facilitate reporting of violations of ban on e-cigarette so union health ministry has recently launched an online portal to facilitate reporting of violations under the prohibition of electronic cigarette act that is peca so despite the ban imposed by the union government in 2019 e-cigarettes continue to be sold on e-commerce sites even to the children who are below the age of 18 years right so this act include the provisions on different things like production manufacturing its import export transport sale distribution storage and advertisement okay so recently ministry of health and family welfare has launched an online portal to facilitate reporting of violations of ban on e-cigarette who is our minister of health and family welfare mr mansukh mandri next question is Aviation Industry Regulator DGCA granted conditional approval to which airline to resume the flights So the Civil Aviation Regulator DGCA has granted conditional approval for Go First to resume the flights with 15 aircraft or 114 daily flights Also DGCA has directed the airline to ensure the compliance with all the applicable regulatory requirements implement all types of important aircraft operations and uh, the satisfactory handling flight before deployment for flight operations okay so recently go first has been given approval to resume its flights okay then apart from it go airlines india limited has received the claims worth 240 billion rupees means 2.9 billion dollars from the creditors and this process is in line with the procedural requirements under indian law which allows every creditor a right to payment and remedy by submitting the claims if a company is under bankruptcy so this go airline which operated the go first carrier filed for bankruptcy protection in the month of may right you can be asked that which indian company has received the claims worth 240 billion rupees from the creditors so that would be go airlines then next question is which union ministry has recently released the manual for disaster management so union minister of jal shakti mr gajendra singh shekhawat has recently launched the manual for disaster management plan during the two day national conference of rural wash partners forum we have talked about it yesterday and this manual is developed by the department of drinking water and sanitation to ensure safety uninterrupted supply and minimum loss of water sanitation and hygiene assets and services that involve the stakeholders at national state district and village level okay so this manual has been released by ministry of jal shakti then apart from it This organization has asked the schools to consider Indian languages as a teaching medium. This is the Central Board of Secondary Education, and recently CBSE asked its affiliated schools to consider providing the option of Indian languages that are mentioned in Schedule Eight of the Indian Constitution as medium of instruction, in addition to the existing options from pre-primary classes to class. 12 and this move is a part of the implementation of national education policy 2020 which actually seeks the use of mother tongue or regional or indian languages as the medium of instruction until at least grade 5 and preferably till grade 8 and beyond okay so recently cbse has asked the schools to consider indian languages as a teaching medium the next question is which indian becomes fifth highest run scorer in international cricket after surpassing south africa's jacques callis 
So this is Indian cricketer Virat Kohli. Recently, he has surpassed Jacquez Callis, who is from South Africa, to become the fifth highest run scorer in international cricket history. And Kohli achieved this feat in the batting charts during India's second test that was against West Indies at the port of Spain. Okay. So now Virat Kohli is the fifth highest run scorer in international cricket and he has broken the record of South Africa's Jacquis Callis. The next question is, which chief minister created a record as the second longest serving chief minister in India? This is chief minister of Odisha, Mr. Naveen Patnaik and he equals former West Bengal chief minister Jyoti Basu as being the second longest serving chief minister in India. So Mr. Naveen Patnaik has held the position for total 23 years and 138 days and the title of the longest serving CM belongs to Pavan Kumar Chamling who is the former Chief Minister of Sikkim State who held this position for 24 years and 166 days. Okay, So this is Mr. Naveen Patnaik who is the Chief Minister of Odisha State. Next question is, which position was backed by the Indian shooters as a team in the Junior World Championship? So the Indian shooters failed to get among the individual medals in rapid fire pistol, but combined to back the team silver behind China in the Junior World Championships, the venue of which was Korea. Okay. So in this event, Samir Ghulia, Mahesh Pasupati, and Raj Kavar Singh Sandhu won the team silver in rapid fire pistol in the junior world championships. Okay. So India was at the second position in this junior world championship. Who was at the first position? This is the country China. Next question is the centralized aviation security control center has been inaugurated in which state or the union territory? So Union Home Minister Amit Shah has inaugurated a centralized aviation security control center at New Delhi and this center will monitor all the threats and social media chatter for the 66 civil airports that are currently under the security cover of CISF. And this aviation security control center will access 24 by 7 real time data monitoring and the trend analysis of passengers and air traffic. Okay, so this center has been inaugurated recently in New Delhi. Now, apart from it, the Telemanus helpline, which is the toll free digital arm of Centers District Mental Health Program, has received 2 lakh calls since its launch in October 2022. And this helpline is available in 20 languages. Basically, sadness, sleeplessness, stress, and anxiety were the different issues that were shared on this platform. Okay, so Tele Manas Helpline was in news these days. You can be asked that this is the toll free digital arm of which scheme, so answer would be District Mental Health Program. Indian Navy decommissioned INS Kirpan and handed over the Corvette to which country? So, Indian Navy decommissioned the INS Kirpan and has handed over this indigenously built missile Corvette to Vietnam country. This ship has served the Indian Navy for 32 years and uh, our Navy chief R. Hari Kumar has announced that this is the first ever occasion that India is offering a fully operational corvette to any friendly foreign country, right? So INS Kirpan has been gifted to the country Vietnam. Few days back also Indian Navy has decommissioned INS Magar, right? Can you tell me INS Magar has provided how many years of service to the Indian Navy? Please write your answer in the comment section if you remember. Now apart from it, where is the International Seabed Authority headquartered? So this is Jamaica based authority and recently its member nations have agreed on a two years roadmap for the adoption of deep sea mining regulations. Okay, so this is an intergovernmental body, the task of which is to protect the seabed and its member states have spent the last decade trying to hash out a mining code for the possible exploitation of nickel cobalt 
and copper in the deep seabed areas that fall outside of national jurisdiction okay simply you can be asked that the headquarters of international seabed authority lies in which country answer would be jamaica next question is Esther Vergeer and Rick Drenny who were seen in the news recently are associated with which sport actually they are to be inducted into tennis hall of fame and talking about Esther Vergeer she is 21 times grand slam singles champion and seven times para olympic gold medalist okay so she began her career in an era when wheelchair tennis was not included in the top events and talking about rick draney he won 12 singles title and six in doubles before the grand slam era of wheelchair tennis and he also he has been credited with bringing quad tennis to the para olympics and other top tournaments okay so both of these sports person are associated with tennis sarita and rakesh kumar who won the medals for india recently play which sport so indian compound archers sarita and rakesh kumar claimed the country's first ever gold medal in the world archery para championships the venue of which is zec republic so this duo claimed the mixed team world title while 16 years old armless archer sheetal devi bagged the compound women's individual silver also sarita has bagged a second medal when she took the women's team bronze with jyoti fine so here correct answer would be archery both of these persons are associated with archery which indian badminton duo won the korea open 2023 title so asian champions satish raj ranki reddy and chirag shetty defeated the world number 1 indonesian duo to clinch the korea open 2023 title the venue of which is also korea so this duo entered the summit clash after a win over the world number 2 chinese pair and also satvik raj and chirag shetty have won the indonesia super 1000 along with swiss open super 500 titles this year right so they are the winners of korea open title next is which state hosted the fifth helicopter and small aircraft summit so the fifth helicopter and small aircraft summit took place in khajuraho in the state of madhya pradesh and this event was jointly organized by ministry of civil aviation government of madhya pradesh then pavan hans limited and the federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry means wiki okay so which state has hosted this fifth helicopter and small aircraft summit answer would be madhya pradesh then apart from it ondc means open network for digital commerce starts learning academy for the merchants called the ondc academy with assistance from whom so ondc is a government backed e-commerce protocol Recently, it has launched a repository of online training material for the merchants called as ONDC Academy, and it was funded initially by the banks, but later it has been conceived as a counterweight against large e-retail, quick commerce, and ride-hailing firms. So now the repository is stored on an ONDC website as well as on YouTube with assistance from the National Stock Exchange. Okay, you can be asked that ONDC starts learning academy for merchants. called as ondc academy with assistance from whom so answer would be national stock exchange next question is which union ministry is set to launch aishman bhav program so union health ministry is preparing to introduce the aishman bhav program to ensure effective implementation of all state run health schemes to reach every intended beneficiary even in the most remote areas So this campaign basically aims to provide comprehensive and widespread coverage of the health schemes which would actually ensure that all the eligible beneficiaries can access and benefit from them. So different activities like Aishman Aapke Dwar 3.0, Aishman Sabha, Aishman Mela and Aishman Gram are part of this initiative, okay? So Aishman Bhav program has been launched by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Then apart from it Recently CERT in means Indian Computer Emergency Response Team has issued 
an advisory regarding the internet ransomware virus the name of which is akira and this malware targets windows and linux based system stealing personal information and encrypting the data to export money from the victims through a double extortion scheme okay you can be asked that what is the name of the new internet ransomware virus regarding which the indian computer emergency response team has issued an advisory so the name of this virus is akira next question is which union ministry is set to launch the jjm digital academy so during the two day national conference that was held at vigyan bhavan in new delhi the department of drinking water and sanitation along with eco india entered into a memorandum of understanding to establish this jjm digital academy and the union ministry of jal shakti minister of which is gajendra singh shekhawat has inaugurated this online portal of jjm digital academy on this occasion okay so this academy is associated with ministry of jal shakti then apart from it the market access initiative scheme is associated with which union ministry so this market access initiative scheme has been updated to allow the startups and new exporters to receive the air fare reimbursement for participating in the international events and existing exporters will now receive a 20% higher ceiling for this incentive so despite these measures india's good exports experienced a significant 22% year on year contraction in the month of june and now this value is at 32.97 billion dollars so it marks the steepest decline in the past 3 years basically this scheme aims to provide financial support for the export promotion activities okay so this scheme is associated with ministry of commerce and industry leon merchant who was seen in the news recently is associated with which sport actually during the first day of the world swimming championship the venue of which is japan leon merchant from france has broken american swimmer michael phelps final individual world record by winning the 400 meters individual medley so phelps is the most celebrated athlete in the history of summer Olymp olympics and he was also present at this event having earned 28 medals across five olympics including 23 gold medals three silver medals and two bronze medals okay so leon merchant is associated with swimming next is which state or the union territory hosted the semicon india 2023 exhibition so prime minister narendra modi will lead the inauguration of semicon india 2023 exhibition that highlights india's semiconductor capabilities and chip design innovation and the venue of this event is gandhinagar in the state of gujarat so this event will witness the participation of prominent companies like foxconn micron amd ibm vedanta etc so they show so they will showcase india's significant progress in nurturing a global semiconductor manufacturing and design ecosystem okay so the host of this exhibition is gandhinagar gujarat which country hosted the talisman sabre exercise so recently live fire drills featuring the american made himars missile system were conducted at the shoal water bay military complex in the country australia and they have showcased their recent acquisition by the australian defense force so this drill is a part of biennial talisman sabre exercise that involves more than 30000 troops from different countries including japan france germany and south korea okay so which country has hosted this exercise answer will be australia next is the first in person follow up event of brics urbanization forum is set to be organized in which country so the brics urbanization forum which was initially launched in new delhi in february 2013 will hold its first in person follow up event in durban in the country south africa so during this two day conference representatives from five brics nation will engage in the discussions about crucial urban development matters the aim of which is to explore how cities worldwide are enhancing their resilience to these challenges okay 
So this forum is set to be organized in the country South Africa. Which state signed a memorandum of understanding with one web to establish satellite network portal site. So recently the Gujarat government through its department of science and technology entered into a memorandum of understanding with one web India communications to establish a satellite network portal site where in Mesana Gujarat. So this marks the first example of such a setup in India by a state and this site is planned to provide high speed and affordable connectivity fine so that's why Gujarat has signed this MOU with one web next is butter Gaika crater the largest permafrost crater in the world is located in which country actually why this crater is in news because scientists have recently sounded an alarm at this crater which is the largest permafrost crater in the world that lies in the Rishas far east and now it is experiencing thawing okay so this mega slump poses a threat to cities and towns in the northern and northeastern Russia. Okay, so this crater belongs to the country Russia. Next is Mount Kun, which was seen in the news recently, is located in which state or the Union Territory. So Mount Kun is situated in Ladakh in the Western Himalayan range and it is the second highest summit of massive with elevation of 23,219 feet. Actually, to commemorate Kargil Vijay Divas, a group of mountaineers from the Indian Army's Dagger Division achieved an extraordinary accomplishment by successfully climbing Mount Kun by reaching its 7,077 meters summit in record time and performing yoga to pay tribute. Okay, so Mount Kun lies in the Union Territory of Ladakh. Next is, which state is set to create at least five regional coordination units to identify the violations in coastal regulation zone areas? So Tamil Nadu State Coastal Zone Management Authority intends to create at least five regional coordination units to establish an efficient system for identifying violations in the coastal regulation zone areas, conducting essential monitoring and taking appropriate actions against such type of violations okay so this authority has also suggested a significant increase in the scrutiny fees that is collected from the project proponents so now Tamil Nadu is set to create this five regional coordination units to identify the violations in the coastal regulation zone areas next is the redeveloped India Trade Promotion Organization complex was inaugurated in which state or the Union Territory. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi has recently inaugurated the redeveloped India Trade Promotion Organization complex at Pragati Maidan in New Delhi and it is called as Bharat Mandapam and it is basically the venue for the G20 leaders meeting in the month of September. Okay. So this complex has been inaugurated in New Delhi. And now the last question says, which state has recently unveiled its dedicated semiconductor policy 2022 to 2027? So Gujarat government has unveiled the semiconductor policy. And now it is one of the first states in India to introduce a dedicated semiconductor policy. And the state government has also unveiled an information technology and information technology enabled services policy to promote the IT and semiconductor design domains. Okay, so Gujarat government has unveiled its dedicated semiconductor policy for the next five years. So these are the most important current affairs and news from today. And now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this Minus Hatsuna signing off.